Your attempts to influence Parliament for the Indian cause have failed. You must do more. I will not jeopardize my relationship with Queen and country to satisfy your crusade. Your Highness, you belong to India, not here acting the part of a noble foreigner. I have wasted enough time indulging in this if nonsense. If your mother could see you now, the last Maharaja of Punjab, basking inside his golden cage. How dare you? I always recommend bringing someone's mother into the argument. If he doesn't help his people, he will regret it forever. How may we help? Will you talk to him? He won't listen to me. We'll do our best. Your Highness, you have guests. I suppose Mr. Green sent you. Bringing up your mother was... Impolite, and he was wrong to do so. We'd like to rectify the situation. Then humor me, and join me in a shooting game. None of these people have any sense of enjoyment, and I am bored to death. A shooting game? Seeing you haven't changed at all. Ellsworth? My word! <laughs> How good it is to see you! The mother country has treated you well. <laughs> Uh, Jacob and Evie Fry, this is Brindley Ellsworth, a friend from a past life. You've made new friends, I see. What brings you to this part of the Empire? Ah, uh, company business, unfortunately. But I could not resist the chance of seeing you again. It's been far too long. I've heard nobody throws a party better than my dearest friend. <laughs> I'm eager to see if your reputation overseas holds any truth. My servant, Thomas, will be scoring the game. <clears throat> Acquire the most amount of points by shooting the bottles in front of you. Each bottle is worth one point. You have 30 seconds. May the best shot win. Start the timer. That time. Six points awarded to our shooter. Come, Thomas. This isn't enough of a challenge. Let's shorten the timer. Round two will now commence. Try and do as well, if not better, within a 20-second time limit. Timer at the ready. Begin! Nine points! A perfect score! I do believe you are equally matched with this one, Singh. Your turn, Your Highness. Come, let us see if you are better with a gun than you were with a slingshot. <laughs> Allow me. Impressive. Yes. Sir, I believe I heard a second shot. He's right. That sounded like a second gunshot. Strange. Strange indeed. Let me investigate. I'm sure it wasn't anything serious. Don't bother. What are you on about? Guns are prohibited in the gardens. What are you on about? I saw the man in front of me with a gun. I just assumed it was part of the decor. You know how royalty likes to socialize. What are you on about? Guns are prohibited in the gardens. That prince is causing problems. He deserves to be silenced. Kill him! I'll cut your tongue out! You too will be soiled! Different tune once I'm thrown up. Oh, goodness, you'll be so. You think you can take me? I'll give you anything. Anything you want. Let me go. Don't hurt me. Let me alone. 
Well, well, well. It seems our old friends the Templars are involved. Ah, Jacob. I trust you're enjoying yourself? The second shot... I told you I won't hear any more of it today. I must go back to my party. You must fill me in on your life here. It's been far too long. Apologies, Your Highness. Any progress? We're not the only ones who want His Highness's attention. Don't tell me the British Indies companies are asking him again. They can't afford it. Well, let's just say it's not just the BIC, and Singh doesn't want any part of it. The Templars? It can't be. At this rate, they'll have him before he can do any good. We have to convince him to trust us. Meet me back at my old shop. I might know something that can help. Good, you're here. This isn't the first time His Highness has had troubles with the British Indies Company. A couple of years ago, they held his mother captive and blocked all his letters to her. Odds are they're keeping his correspondence from reaching the outside world once again. I have acquired a mail courier schedule. There are two separate routes of transport. The first, a mail carrying carriage convoy. The second, a train. If we set up an ambush, you should be able to seize his letters. Maybe this will change his mind. Start with the convoy. He must block the road. That a girl? That's the way. The male convoy will be here any minute now. Scout the area for allies. I will guard the area. over for a spot of tea. The train could come in at any moment. We need reinforcements. How are you today? Ready for a round? How about you? Let me go! You'll pay for sneaking around! <laughs> to Greeny. There is a difference between pacifism and inaction. How many times do I have to tell you? Ah, you two do have impeccable timing. Did we interrupt something? I believe these will be of interest to you, Your Highness. These letters, they are from me. The seals have been broken. That's how we found them. This, this is a letter I wrote to my mother when I was just a boy. 
Where did you find these possessions of mine? On a mail convoy. The Templars. They have a way of getting to you. I thought I had put an end to it years ago. But the British Indies Company continues to steal my property. You were right to think something strange was afoot. We must take action. But it will not be possible without your help. I believe you're right. But I must have some time to think on this. In the meantime, please be discreet. I don't need Her Majesty finding out about this. Good to see you again. The pleasure is mine. Shall we? It has come to my attention that the British Indies Company has stolen a large sum of wealth from the good people of Punjab. It is my intention to send it back. And where is this gold located? All I've managed to find out is that the BIC have their very own accountant. Perhaps he will have more information about this. Good plan. Apparently, he likes to frequent a certain pub. I haven't seen Martin yet today. Ah, a true pleasure to see you again. Nah, I ain't seen no accountant here. Tell me how you've been. Oh, you just missed him. He headed to the bank with a couple of men I'd never seen before. Which is odd, because the bank isn't even open now, I think of it. He's right. We should go to the bank. Just in time. You think you can just go shooting your mouth off at any opportunity? Do you have any idea who you're working for? The BIC accounts are confidential. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just let me go and I'll be quiet. I promise you. Not a chance. We'll take them out together, but we've got to do so quietly. You take one, I'll take the other. Ready? I am indebted to you. The British Indies thugs have somewhat worked him over. We need to get him to safety. There's someone intruding on our affairs. Find them and kill them. We must bring the accountant with us. He'll die if we leave him here. <gasps> Let's get out of here. Thank you both. I... I would have died back there. What can I do to repay you? We need to know what the British Indies Company wants with the stolen Punjabi gold. That I do not know. What I can tell you is that they've taken it to a warehouse in Southwark. Whatever they want with it, it can't be good. You don't hold people hostage when there's good news on the line. <laughs> Put him in the back. I will take him to the hospital. Huh? Help! Please, don't leave me here! We shall reconvene later. Thank you, Miss Fry. I've discovered more information on our stolen gold. To my carriage. Come on. It's all quite strange. The British Indies Company working with the Templar Order. And for what? Perhaps we will never know. The accountant revealed they're hiding a shipment of gold. 
previously stolen from India in a carriage at an old Staric warehouse. We must find this carriage and steal it from them. And what of you? Why, I'm here to help you, of course. They don't call me the fourth best shot in London for nothing. The gold must be found. This is it. The gold Go is here somewhere. Return to me once you've found it, and I'll stay behind and keep an eye out for trouble. Be careful. What they think is theirs, they won't easily part with. What does he want with all this gold anyway? We must take it. There'll be trouble otherwise. I mean, if we leave This is it. The gold must be inside. Now to sneak it out of here. The Templars are not far away, and we must lose them. I'll keep the walls at bay. Your Highness... Hurry! Go! I must get rid of these pursuers. Make haste! Big bashing time! Go on! Damn! My gun is jammed! Take my place! I get the feeling you've done this before! I think we lost them. Good work. You were quite impressive out there, if I may say. Oh, you're too kind. It was rather exhilarating, if I'm being honest. Now, I've hired a captain to escort the gold overseas. If you would kindly fetch the crate from the back. Away that easily, thief. Are you quite all right? You had me frightened. I'm all right, really. I commend you for fighting them off, really. With you at my side, it will be an almost simple task to send this gold back to where it belongs. Why don't you walk off that last fight and come back to me when you're ready for the next leg of the journey? There's still work to be done. Where were we? We must return this gold to its people. My people. I procured us a captain to transport it to its destination. But our next feat will be to get it out of London. And we must protect it. Precisely. Now, if you would be so good as to bring the gold aboard, we can get going. Bleeding and broken. Oh. 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 
splendid. That should buy our captain enough time. Now we must escort this boat to the next dock where we may disembark. And then this vessel will be clear of enemy waters. We've done some good today. I can feel it. I'm glad you feel that way, Your Highness. We're not finished yet. I think that's the last of them. The gold is in safe hands. We did a good job today. May this not be the end of our adventures together. No, let's not end this partnership just yet. We can only move forward from here. Good day. Your Highness! They are stubborn fellows, aren't they? Now, if you would be so kind as to excuse me. I've had quite a bit of excitement today and must think on it. Do come see me again. Henry has an idea of what we'll tackle next. He is waiting for us at Southwark Station. Go ahead. I will join you there. Done too much. The British Indian Navy are trying to capture your train. Agnes, I hope she's all right. Poor Agnes. I'll see to this immediately. I can handle the rest from here. Catch up with your train. Miss Bedbean should be headed for Whitechapel Station. Dead as a door. The train is too far. I'll need to catch up by carriage. Here we go again. What a catastrophe. The British Indies Company must not be very happy with how things progress. You could say that. That should keep them quiet for a while. Perhaps this is not the best time to bring up what I called you here for. I have another plan. I'm listening. It may sound mad, but I propose we steal the Kohinoor diamond. A piece of the royal jewels. Whatever for. Her Majesty may wear it, but it doesn't belong to her. It was a trophy, symbolizing the colonization of India, and it deserves to be returned home. It would be an extremely delicate mission, but I know you'd be more than capable of such a feat. I have already procured some information pertaining to the location of the Koinon. Come and find me when you've had a moment to think it over. I put my ear to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Kohinoor diamond. Excellent. Heist my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Button. Beer drinker. What? I can tell. 
He is apparently a friend of the royal jeweler. How will we find him? He frequents a pub in the city of London Borough called The George. Sounds like the sort of man I know how to deal with. Don't be ridiculous. Fret not, dearest sister. I will take care of this one on my own. Come find me in Westminster when you have the information we need. Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you tell me where the famous Kohinoor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot to wager on a losing right, battle. Yeah. I'll take that as an accepted challenge, then. Barkeep, two pints over here. Much better. <laughs> Oi, my God. What happened last night? Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub. But which one? Ah, you survived the night, I see. I wasn't sure what would become of you. <laughs> You're back. I thought I'd seen the last of you when you sauntered off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first. You're... How do I put this? You're awful! Oh, that's too bad. You're a good shot. Better than I ever would have guessed. We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. On to the bricklayer's arms with you, jolly boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Jack, oh. did you see that? Who did that? Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. I needed the money. Beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. That's a relief. By Jove, spill someone's drink? Why would I ever do such a nasty thing? Sarge. Dwindling in number, but absolute terrors in this particular neighborhood. The pettiest thing someone can do, if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. I was talking to that yarn-spinning oaf, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. There he is! Why don't I come over there and get some Come fight me like a real man! Stick to your I'm not your team. Just try to stop me. We better get out of here before they start asking for more. Well, that was a bit frightening, now, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'm going to be sick. 
None of that now. Come, let's get you home. I don't think I can stand. You must be joking. Oh. It doesn't have to be this way. Your purse, drunkard! Give up your purse! Help me! What did I do to deserve this? Joseph, I'm so glad to have a friend to join me. I don't want to die. I don't want to You're the nitwit from the pub! Let's make him sorry for poking our nose in the wrong places. <laughs> Such fun! <laughs> we should do this every night. Are you still talking? I think I overdid it tonight. Oh well, I'll sleep it off. This is my place. You're a good drinker, you know. You might be better than me. I am. And never you forget it. Good night then. Julia! But wait. At least I know where to find him. Where is that button fool? Get up here. I walked you home. Jacob? Finally. Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise. It's being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the Royal Jeweler for another cutting. Many thanks. Buttons. Now hold on right there. You look terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply That's retrieving the, the information you, you sent me to get. Here, miss, it was easy, really. Place. Something about I an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The guard. To I will be attending. You're our in, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, oh bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the coin on. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? The jewels are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. Oh, I do believe I've lost a button. Will somebody help me find it? The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. The fled Lambeth Asylum. <laughs> Oh, your friend is as charming as you are, Mr. Singh. No, <laughs> you flatter me, Mark. Now to find no. my sister. Tell me, how do you... Here. 
what took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You, sir! Halt for inspection! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him! Nothing. The Corinor isn't here. But of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? Some sort of criminal? What was all that commotion about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the Corinor, your ladyship. Kerinor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, Your Highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. The Koi Noor, if I may. Glass? The real Koi Noor never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father? He has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I, too, have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this, and why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. I spoke with Mr. Green, and we have discovered the location of the British Indies' secret headquarters. You are to meet him, and he will give you the details. There is a foundry nearby where the Templars and BIC members have been meeting on a regular basis. Mr. Green waits for you there. But we still don't understand why they tried to frame you. We don't, but Mr. Green seemed to think that they're using the factory to develop something. It's a good place to start digging. Good luck. You made it. You found the British Indies Company hideout? They've taken over an abandoned foundry. It's heavily fortified, and word has it, they're shipping something precious overseas. My gut tells me that something precious is something bad. My thoughts exactly. Go find out what they're protecting and destroy it. Maybe you'll discover why they're after Mr. Singh. <laughs> so this is where they've been keeping that sleeping gas. They can't leave London. They're shipping this to India? No. What do they want this for? War? Ready to fire? I must destroy them. Aid. I'm after you. I can get it. That's it. This will stop him. Reason to kill him. I'll catch you, boy. Sir! Some
Somebody get the boss. We got a problem. Yes. Go fetch the manager. I'd back away if I were you. Worth? I'd better get a closer look. Destroyed? How? There's someone in the vicinity! A spy! Ah, One of those ah. rocks, I wager! Ah, it must be those damned renegades Sing is friends with. Who knew one caged bird could cause so much trouble? You're caught, Ellsworth. Ah. Give up. I knew you had something to do with this. Seize him! What did you find out? Who's behind all of this? You're not gonna like what I have to tell you, Your Highness. Brinley Ellsworth is behind the attacks. Ellsworth? He was gone before I had a chance to follow him. But we need to track him down and put an end to this before anything worse happens. I need some time to think on this. You were right when you said that this was our chance. I was. I propose we make a commotion. Lure out the Templar-controlled British Indies Company. And do what? Put yourself in the line of fire? I need to send Ellsworth a message. This won't be over until we can draw him out. Thank this you, is sir. something I must do. I will make a scene, and then you need to wrap them up in it. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I've heard you Templars are a bunch of pansies. Here we go. Send a message to Ellsworth. I'll, I'll do anything. Tell him to meet me at Lambert Cemetery tonight and tell him to come alone. There's the killer. Help! There's Help. been a murder. There's been an accident. Meet me tonight at Lambert Cemetery. He'll never come alone, even if I ask him to. That caused quite a commotion. He's gone mad. Greeny was right. He isn't mad, Jacob. He's trying to take action. To do the right thing. Oh, never mind. I'll take it from here. Fine by me. I could use a good pint right about now. Oh. I was expecting Jacob, but I'm glad it's you who have come. He thinks you've gone mad. I probably have. What's your plan? I've asked Brinley to meet me here alone. In turn, he, of course, has sent a small army to secure the area. I need you to get rid of them and meet me back here. It's essential that when Brinley does arrive, I have him to myself. Understood. <laughs> We have 
Oh, that'll certainly help quite a bit, thank you. He's here. I must talk to him. Don't be absurd. This is dangerous. Miss Fry, this is something I must do, and I must do it alone. Remain hidden. I cannot afford to have him see you. You can't escape me forever, Your Highness. Come out and face me. I told you to leave me here alone. Not as silly as I once was, Sid. I wouldn't dare come to this meeting place alone. Not with your recently acquired friend. It doesn't have to be like this. You can't just walk this earth like a free man. You are nothing more than a trophy, a stag's head above a mantelpiece. You've caused enough commotion as it is. It's time to put an end to this. If you kill me now, you will be a wanted man. Imagine the uprising when they find out the only son of Ranjit Singh has been murdered. <laughs> you think they remember you? You are a lost soul. A monarch who has abandoned his people. You are nothing. We were such good friends. Friends? <laughs> you were no more than a plaything. A prisoner in prince's clothing. You're lucky to be alive. I admit, I was surprised they let you live. Elsworth, listen. Ugh. I've had enough of this. Suppose I'd better wait here. Ugh. Ugh. You a lie. He will kill you! This is what I was sent here for. Be done with it, girl! I shall never forfeit my own mission. I will not allow it. The Loggins, the company, they all wanted your silence. Whether you spare me or end me, you won't escape the fate they have planned for you. It seems you have learned nothing of India, of its people. But killing you? That is something I cannot do. It would make me no better than the cursed, oppressive company you work for. Yeah. You will die as you were raised, Singh. You'll never be more than a, a trophy of war. We will bury you in English soil! <laughs> you have done me much good. I am heavily indebted to you both. We are happy to help. I fear that I cannot continue handling things in this manner. The assassin way is not my way. As helpful as you have been. This empire, this land, my people. The problem is so much bigger than death. I know I must devote my life to this cause, to put India, my home, back onto the map, return it to its people. It's a long and grueling journey, but it is something I must do, even if it takes me to my own death. We understand, Your Highness. But if you do change your mind, you know where to find us. That I do. Thank you, Assassins. Hopefully we never shall meet again.